The word is Muslim. Muslim means a person who submits the will to God. What was the Prophet? Was he Shia? Was he Sunni? What was he? He was Muslim. Of Sulaiman Al Imran, chapter 3, verse 64, it says, We bear witness that we are Muslim. If you want to judge whether the Muslim is right or wrong, what do you do? You check with the Quran. Let him call himself Muhammad, Zakir, Sultan, Abdullah, no problem. You check it up if he's following the Quran and the authentic teachings of the Prophet. Bukhari, Muslim, authentic teaching, he's a true Muslim. If he goes against the true teachings of the Prophet, the Sahih Hadith of Bukhari, Muslim, and all the other Sahih Hadith, and goes against the Quran, he's not a true Muslim. A true Muslim is a person who follows the Quran and the authentic teachings of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So when you come to know, let him call himself anything. If he does not follow the Quran and does not follow the authentic teaching of the Prophet, he is not a true Muslim. These people are not following. What you have to do? Ask them. Are they following the teachings of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Are they following the teachings of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala? Allah says in the Quran, in Surah An-Nam, chapter six, verse number one fifty-nine: Anyone who makes sex division in Islam, you have nothing to do with him. Anyone who divides the religion of Islam, it is prohibited. So if you have to be a good Muslim, you have to hold to the rope of Allah, that is the Quran. So just by calling someone Abdullah, Sultan, whatever it is, will not take you to Jannah, but following the teachings of the Creator Almighty God and following the teachings of Prophet Muhammad peace. Brother, I would like to ask you a question. You are so much bothered about Shia Sunni. I want to ask you why. Whoever told you uh -huh. did not tell you what Quran says. I am giving you reference. There is a confusion among the Muslims. When you meet, you ask, you are a Wahhabi, or are you a Hanafi, or a Shafi, or a Maliki? So there is a confusion amongst the Muslims. So what is the reply? I do agree with the uh, non-Muslim sister that unfortunately many Muslims call different names. But when I tell the Hindus to go back to the Vedas, I tell the Muslims to go back to the Quran. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Al-Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 103, Allah says, Hold the rope of Allah strongly and be not divided. We have to hold to the rope of Allah. The rope of Allah is the glorious Quran and the authentic Hadith. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Anam, chapter number 6, verse number 159, that anyone who makes division in the religion of Islam, O oh Prophet, you have nothing to do with him. Making sex, making division in Islam is prohibited. It is haram. But when we ask the Muslims, what are you? Some say I'm a Hanafi, some say I'm a Shafi, some say I'm a Hanbali, some say I'm a Salafi. What was the Prophet? Was the Prophet Hanafi? Was the Shafi? Was the Hanbali? Was the Malaki? What was he? He was a Muslim. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Al-Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 52, Isa alayhi salam, Jesus Christ, peace be upon you, he was a Muslim. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Al-Imran, chapter 3, verse 67, that Abraham, peace be upon him, he was a Muslim. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Fusila, chapter number 41, verse number 33, وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ قَالَ مِمَّنْ دَوَيْ لَلَّهِ وَعَمِلُ صَالِحَوْنَ قَالَ إِنَّنِ مِنَ الْمُسْلِمِينَ Who is better in speech than one who invites to the way of thy Lord, works righteousness and says that I'm a Muslim. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad was a Muslim. Allah has told us to call ourselves Muslim. They cannot be a better label than Muslim. See, all these four great Imams, Imam Abu Hanifa, Imam Shafi, Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal, Imam Malik, may Allah be pleased with them all. They were great scholars. I love them. I respect them all. They were great scholars. But all these great scholars said, all these four Imams said, that if you find any of my fatwa, which goes against Allah and his Rasul, then you throw my fatwa on the wall. So here if you analyze, that all these Imams that came, they came not to make a new sex, they came for the people to go back to the original scripture, the Quran, the Sahih Hadith. So what we have to realize, that I know there are people who say, that isn't there a Hadith in which the Prophet said, there will be 73 sex, it's Hadith of Tirmidhi, it's a Sahih Hadith, Hadith number 171. The Prophet said, there will be 73 sex. Prophet didn't say you should make. Prophet knew that even though Allah says, don't make, you're bound to make. So the best is to go back to Allah and His Rasul. And the best label you can have is call yourself a Muslim. Any scholar, let it be anyone in the world, let him be the biggest scholar of the world. You ask him for proof. Produce your proof if you are truthful. If you are honest, produce your proof. So any scholar, if the difference of opinion, you ask him for proof. Get the proof, check it up. Therefore, in my talk, I always give references. What I say, what Zakir says is rubbish in Islam. It is zero, nil. Therefore, I say, Zakir doesn't say, Allah says, Allah was, say is Allah one and only. If Zakir says it is rubbish, zero, nil in Islam. If Allah says it carries weight. If the Prophet says it carries weight. So therefore, sisters, Muslims should not be divided. We should call ourselves Muslims and follow the Quran and the Sahih Hadith. Anyone who divides the religion, they are going against the Quran.